Desperate for help with an influx of migrants from New York City to Martha's Vineyard, the immigration fight is heating up. Good evening. I'm Jessica Moore. I'm Maurice Dubois. 11,600, according to the mayor's office, that is the number of asylum seekers who've arrived in the city over just the past few months. And now it's prompting the city to rethink its game plan. CBS 2's Tim McNicholas joins us live from Port Authority with today's developments. Tim? Jessica Maurice, New York has long been a right to shelter city, meaning the city is obligated to provide shelter to the migrants being bused here. The mayor's office says that won't change, but the way they meet those obligations might. It started with one bus every other day in August, but Wednesday, six buses of asylum seekers arrived at the Port Authority bus terminal. We need people to use their legal minds to see how do we challenge this behavior um, from these rogue governors. Mayor Eric Adams didn't hide his frustration today as he toured New York City's first asylum seeker resource navigation center, part of the city's response to the 11,600 asylum seekers, many of them sent here by Texas Governor Greg Abbott. We are going to have open doors to them, not close the doors in their faces like we're seeing on in other parts of this country. And this week, 48 asylum seekers arrived in Martha's Vineyard on flights organized by Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. Luis Fonseca says he left Venezuela for a better life for his children, and he didn't know he'd end up at Martha's Vineyard. I mean, okay. They told me there was a work opportunity, he says. We were going to a city, but we ended up staying here. The move drew the ire of Mayor Adams and several other Democrats, but Governor DeSantis defended it. We take what's happening at the southern border very seriously. It's inhumane. And here in New York, the city is considering some changes. We're reassessing the city's practices with respect to the right to shelter. Sources tell CBS2 that a special task force has been assigned to come up with new ways of housing migrants, maybe finding unused dormitory space or creating some place like Camp LaGuardia, the upstate facility used during the Giuliani and Bloomberg administrations to house the homeless. We need help. We have not been ashamed to say that. And as for that new navigation center, well, it'll be operated by Catholic Charities. And organizers say asylum, se asylum seekers can go there to get legal help and resources to help them thrive in the city. Live at the Port Authority bus terminal, I'm Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News. Okay, Tim, thank you.